Hello and welcome to my latest video in the uh, Selling on ThreadUp series. I wanted to get on um, and talk about the uh, couple kits that I have going on here. One in particular we'll get in depth with. Um, my name is Trisha and I am an online seller and um, my store names on uh, that I sell on other platforms is Sandy and Auto, but I also send in clothing um, for sale on ThreadUp. And uh, so I've been going through and um, doing a bit of a series on my kits and the um, selling and the kind of strategies I guess that I'm using a bit um, for selling on thread up and sharing everything that I'm learning along the way and so I want to go over um, one of the kits I have sent in some um, kits back in June one of them kind of snuck up on me and was processed um, way before the um, expected date that they show on the website or the app and uh, then I had sent in um, a few more kits but I had put um, as you can see on the screen here I had put expedited service on those as the deadline now is more I guess in like the two to three month range for them to process and that's a little longer than I wanted to wait and so I did decide to go ahead and put expedited um, service on these and I do have to say that from when they received them that it really was just like a day or two that they were processing them which again kind of surprised me I was expecting maybe more of the five to seven day range but it was um, a lot closer to the one to two day range which was great um, always happy to have things kind of available for sale and um, you know to kind of get the ball rolling again with my sales on thread up and uh, so one of the kits I have, which is this one down here, which was processed yesterday, which I didn't realize had been processed, um, which I had already gone in and I've already adjusted my prices because it is about to go, I guess, live to the bidding process. And so I have these um, two other kits. I, I may split these out into two separate videos um, showing um, how I adjust my prices uh, in that first 12 hour window. The screens have changed a little bit from when I did my last um, how I update prices so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to get on and show the changes. Um, it's a good change. Um, it's definitely a, a change that helps you see what the price range um, should be. But I also want to mention that I do keep a spreadsheet um, and I, I keep data on that spreadsheet and one of the things that I do keep on that spreadsheet is what ThreadUp puts as um, like the price that they use because um, I think that's a good guideline to have um, an idea of what pr what their pricing is what they see as the um, kind of good range of, of kind of I guess maybe past history of what that what the norm price is but I'm as a seller I'm going to try to get the highest sell price that I can um, you know obviously I'm doing this to make money I'm not doing this just to sell through um, some items that I have and so my goal is is essentially to send in very high quality items that I can get the maximum profit out of um, so that's kind of the the mindset um, going in and what items I select to send to thread up which I don't send everything to thread up I do sell on eBay and Poshmark and so I do have a lot of clothing that I sell on those platforms but I do tend to send the higher end items to thread up uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this kit and um, you can see right now 
that they did there's a, a credit here for the $16 for the expedited processing and a credit here for um, $10.99 for return assurance I did send in 27 items and 23 of them were accepted and so then the that 1099 will pay for those four items to be sent back to me and I will mention those um, towards the end uh, as we get there so you can see already kind of starting out um, with 2699 to build back in before I start getting payouts on this which with the pricing the way that they have started it out my potential earning is hundred and two dollars and sixty five cents which is lower than what I want to get um, for these items so I'm going to go uh, scroll down here and we can see that I have five hours and 24 minutes left before this goes into the bidding process so this kit has been up on my end for um, any kind of adjustments I want to do for seven hours so far so that first 12 hour window and I'm going to go through and on each of these items I am going to put the price at the highest price that I can go which is 80% of the retail price or if you were buying retail and they had a 20% off sale of the retail price then that's the price that you would um, get this for and the reason I do that and I try to keep that um, kind of at that price is after the after an item has been on for seven days then the buyers who come to thread up if there's a sale going on if there's coupons going on and available then they can use those coupons typically it's 20 percent off sometimes it's 30 percent off and sometimes i've seen um, even like 50 percent off so i try to keep my items priced as high as possible so that then the incentive is you can use the coupon and i still get paid a higher um, payout for that even though um, coupons are being used again to try to maximize my profit so I'm going to go in here um, to the first item which are these um, Catherine's jeans these are um, a size 24 W and they do have some embroidery on the legs um, which you can see there and I'm going to take out the price and this is a nice new feature that they put in here that they tell you what the maximum is um, they didn't used to tell you and so you kind of had to play around with the numbers a bit so now they tell you um, so I can go 46.99 on these and you can see that the payout has significantly um, changed so it was I should have pointed that out beforehand let's go back it was 17. 99 which a payout was two dollars and 43 cents so when i adjust it to 46.99 now it's <laughs> now it's going to be difficult we'll come back to that <laughs> there'll be another one about that price um i don't know why it's doing that it it did that to me earlier where it was being all strange it it will automatically adjust okay we're moving on <laughs> we'll find another better example so here is a um, Sundance shirt Sundance is the um, I guess I don't know if it was started by Robert Redford or <laughs> if it's just a part of that region where the Sundance Film Festival is the Sundance um, clothing house goods jewelry um, type catalog and so this is from that it's this really cute um, kind of embroidered top and it's a size medium and you will like look at a better example here so the payout would be three dollars and 52 cents leaving it as is i'm going to um, see that i can adjust this up to 55 99 and now the payout is 1881 if it sells for that price um, I would then be making $15 more off of uh, this top 
I'm going to scroll down again and we'll take a look at this London Times. This is a blue lace dress and this is a size four. And so the payout would be $5. I'm going to um, remove that and see that I can price this at $44.99 and my payout would be $33.75. Uh, next up are these Adriano Goldschmied, Goldschmied oh that's a tough one to say, um, jeans. They have them priced at $34.99 which is a decent price and $7.88 isn't a horrible um, pay out but I can price these up to as you can see $132.99 I'm going to just do that um, to show as an example that if, if they were to sell at that price that they would um, sell I would my payout would be $88.57 and you can see that the percentage goes higher as the value increases the percentage payout goes higher each time um, the payout higher percentage higher and then payout higher um, this uh, fox Cro foxcroft long sleeve beautiful fuchsia um, hot pink colored shirt uh, this is a size 16 and here I can go up to it's it says 40 I, I don't think I can do 42.92 oh I can do 42.9 okay um, so I was even misreading that so technically I could on these then well I won't do it because it'll end up being like the first example but I guess it does tell you now it used to tell you like um, it had to be below like $43 and so um, you had to go like the dollar below but they've changed that to make it even easier and I'm making it more difficult so <laughs> you can go to then $42.99 on that and then have an $11.39 payout uh, these uh, really fun loom state jeans uh, and I can go up to $113.99. I'll use the screen as it's intended to help me there. Um, these are a size um, 26 waist on these pants. Um, you can see they have a nice um, flare leg on those. And then J. Jill, this is a um, little jacket. Uh, this one is hard to tell on this, but it, that is actually like a purplish color and it is a size small. And so I'm going to take the price out and I can go up to $118.99. And we'll look at the next three here. So we have these Lucky Brand jeans and these are... I believe these are the size 28 jeans. I have two pairs of Lucky brand jeans and they look very similar. One is a one is a 26 waist and oh no, one's a 27 waist and one's a 28 waist, but they it is hard to tell them apart without actually clicking in and taking a look at them, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust that to 86.99. And these, these actually do, you know, depending on the style, the size, um, they could be the absolute one that someone is looking for and they are willing to spend um, the higher price. I have had um, eight kits in the past so far this year that have gone through the entire process and I have, here I'll take a second, I'm going to scroll up to the very top here. Nope, this one's not going to show it. I'll wait till I get out of this, but I have, um, where did I leave off here? I have 80 items that have sold um, so far in the eight kits that I have sent in, which isn't bad. Um, you know, I'm definitely hoping for more as I spent the eight 
first eight kits learning um, what to send in, maybe what not to send in. Um, I'm definitely hoping that these next kits, and again, I'll be documenting as much of the journey um, as I can along the way, that um, they will um, outperform my first eight kits. And so then we have the Calvin Klein jeans. They are a size 16. Yep, they're a boot cut size 16. This is an Eddie Bauer dress. It's kind of a gray fleece type dress and it is a size large. So I'm gonna adjust to that price. And a Simon Chang blazer. This was very stylish. Um, not quite sure what other word. Kind of a gray tweed um, type. And then it has like a, a nice waist and button accents on it. And $56.99. And that is a size 14. And this M. Magashoni pullover sweater. This is actually a new with tags item. And so I definitely want to put it um, as high as I can. Because hopefully being um, new with tags, it's going to be an item that um, people are going to be looking for. Um, this Chico's vest, the next item that's very cute with um, upcoming fall colors, and it is a, where is that? It is a size 14. No, um, the Chico's is a size zero, um, which I believe, if I remember right, is like a medium. Um, oh, I was going to mention the Magashoni um, sweater is an extra large, so I do think that has the potential to be a very popular item. And then here's my other pair of Lucky Jeans. A Sejour... Uh, Skirt, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, I believe these are sold at Nordstrom. I did have another one of these that sold very quickly. Uh, this is a size 22 W. Um, this Mac Studio top, um, this was really cute. Uh, it has a bunch of, all these little bits on here are little sailboats. It is really, really cute. And it is a size medium. And so that can go $37.99. Um, J. Crew Jeggings. These are a size 26 waist. And so these I can put up to. Now that's not to say. On all of these items that I price up, it's not to say that I'm going to keep them there. It's just a good place to start, and especially through like the first week or two of when they're eligible for coupons. Um, they're eligible for coupons all the time, but while they're still kind of new, um, people tend to um, look at those more for coupons. Um, this Carl Lagerfeld dress I am um, definitely going to price high because this again is a new with tag item and it is a size 12 and so I'm hoping that this is a very highly desirable dress um, it's really pretty with these big flowers on them um, a Lauren jeans company denim jacket um, really cute styling on this one uh, with the double buttons up the side. And so that can go 
Um, one of my favorite items in this um, kit were these J. Crew khakis. These were um, like a distressed, their broken in boyfriend is what the name on the waist says and they have this really fun distressing on them and uh, they're really soft and <laughs> very they look like they would be very very comfortable on and um, I definitely were they my size I would have kept them they are a size four though unfortunately although you can see they are quite baggy being a, a boyfriend style jeans that they are baggy um, here we have a Kenneth Cole jacket just a nice gray jacket and that is a size large on that one it's almost more of like a sweater type jacket um, this Rachel Rachel Roy dress is a um, size 22 w and it also is uh, new with tags and so again i think that one um, has the potential to do really well also and this really pretty pink sag harbor um, jacket which i can do at 23.99 now this one i guess I thought it would be priced higher um, than $23.99. So I'm going to go ahead and I, on my spreadsheet, I'm going to flag this and I'm going to keep an eye on it because I may want to go ahead and reclaim this item um, when I get around when it kind of things kind of go through some cycles and I have the opportunity to reclaim some items um, because I don't I think that again I can probably get a higher price than that and so I'm trying to to watch a little better this time around when I can reclaim items or I can reclaim it at any time but when I want to actually pay to reclaim an item um, because a four dollar and eight cent payout not quite what I'm looking for on this item so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on that and the items that they um, sent back and didn't accept are a pair of torrid pants that are a size 18 um, and they are just a career black um, wide leg pants which they probably do have a lot of those and, and maybe didn't need another pair at this time uh, also I had a um, Larry Levine really cute pleated skirt it had pleats in the front and pleats in the back not quite sure why they didn't want that um, that was a size six um, I had a chaps blazer that actually was was very similar um, to another one I sent in on a different kit but it was just a a black and white striped blazer size 14 not sure why they didn't um, accept that but I'll take a closer look and the one that kind of surprised me that they didn't take is a Calvin Klein um, new with tag fleece jacket I'm thinking maybe they thought it was a men's jacket because it was gray um, so I'm going to take a closer look at that and make sure on my end that it's not a men's jacket also because it could be um, so I'm going to go up here real quick and um, I'm going to get out of oh I could have just gotten out of this kit um, and I will go over really quickly on the the main screen what we're looking at here um, there we go so we can see here that I have um, a total of 15 kits eight old and seven new so far um, that are coming in I have one kit that is live and so the 41 items off of that kit um, in my past kits I have 80 items sold uh, $1,100 um, total earnings and then down here um, I have two ordered kits meaning I 
ordered the labels, but I haven't sent them in yet because I was going to send them in and then I changed my mind and I wanted expediting, expedited, which I think now in looking at some other information out there that I can actually have these changed to include expedited. So I'm going to look into that. Um, I have three kits that are um, sent in that are on their way that they haven't received yet. My eight past kits, three kits that I sent in in June, which was actually four kits, but one has been processed and the other three I'm still waiting for. And then the four kits that are um, that have been processed. So the one I went through on the video, I'll do another video on the other kit. And then the other two, like I said, they kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting them to go live when they did. And um, I wasn't able to do um, kind of a video at the time. I may do one um, a little later catching up on kind of what's going on on those but uh, but just kind of wanted to go through the process again of changing the prices and and what that looks like kind of before um, it does go live the first time and uh, so thank you for watching um, if this uh, kind of content interests you in um, learning more about ThreadUp, um, I also do kind of what sold videos. Um, please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos and notifications. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those behind. And um, uh, again, if you enjoy this, I appreciate a like on the video um, on your way out. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.